Hi folks. I thought I'd do a little video and show you my planner. Um, it's been a blessing to my family. It's a very simple, easy to use format. I think you'll see after I show you some of it. So this particular cover is the Pure in the Love Never Ends collection on my website. I am outside with a windy day, so please forgive the blowing pages. This is the table of contents. Kind of tells you what's in it. I'm not going to show you every page, of course, but I'll show you the, the highlights, the major highlights. <clears throat> this is the planner that we used this year, so you'll see my chicken scratching in it. This is the year to glance page. I use it for attendance. You can see my circle days and my crossed off days. Sometimes I'll cross the days off, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll write the holiday in or if something special is happening that day. Uh, the, the next thing I'm gonna highlight is the, the big calendar. I like extra spaces to write things, and there's lots of that in this planner. Lots of places to write notes, write extra things. I'm always needing to jot something down. All right, this particular planner, as you saw on the table of contents page, is the two student planner. My planners are customizable as far as uh, how many students you have in your school. I can do all the way up to five students. I think that's the biggest I can do. <laughs> that one was a challenge, but I did it. Um, Okay, so this is the lesson plans for the two student. You can kind of see there. Hope you got a good look at that. Oh no, I said this was a two student. It's a three student, I'm sorry. That's the two student section for the lesson planning. This is the three student section. Hang on, let me, let me find it. Okay, this is the, the one student lesson plans. That's what that looks like. Very, very simple to write in what you need to. Uh, my two oldest, which are in the two student section of this planner, are mostly independent with their schoolwork. I just do the lesson planning out and they look at the planner and see what they need to do and they check off their own work. I'll put notes down underneath if I need to, if they need something, you know, further instructions for their schoolwork. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, this is a very important part of the planner. <clears throat> the progress reports. Semi-annual, I do them twice a year. I have to do that for my accountability group for the state of South Carolina. But I also like to have just, you know, a record of how, how they're doing. I like to look back at my other planners and read how they've progressed. It's a lot of fun to see how much that they have grown. Uh, let's see. There's a book reading log. There's, oh, let me show you the. I like this one. I haven't been able to write anything in. This has been a tough year for us, so we haven't gone on any field trips. But that's a, that's a fun section. Um, then there's a meal plan. There's, there's other, there's lots of stuff in this, in this planner, but I'm just giving you the short highlights of the important pages. Uh, the, the end of the planner is where you do your end of the year grades. And there's a place to put in your wishes or goals for next year. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as highlighting the main parts of the planner. It's a very simple, like I said, a very simple format to use. And any any questions, get in contact with me. My website is www.
preciselyplannedcomplete.com. I'd love to hear from you.